Hi, Christopher Mosley here. And today I'm here with a wedding superstar. I got the Canon 85 millimeter EF F 1.8 lens. This thing is a beast. Before we get into the statistics and logistics of this lens, I need you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on future lens reviews, camera reviews, and product reviews. Thanks. The 85mm focal length is perfect for portraiture, as labeled by Canon and other photography professionals, due to the lens creating the perfect perspective for both the subject and the background when taking portraits. Now believe it or not, this lens was manufactured and released in September of 1989 and still withstands the test of time and competes with lenses in image quality that were designed and released in today's society. That's just impeccable. This lens is, is the perfect example of superior craftsmanship than just a superior build quality from a Canon lens. Now, it's built solid and built to last. That's something you come to love about a lens, especially when you get out in the field and start working and realize you can't baby this equipment. So the build quality becomes more and more important the more serious you take your job as a photographer. Something about that 85 millimeter focal length just makes faces and upper torsos look beautiful when it comes to taking portraits or wedding photography, something where you don't want to be necessarily up close and personal. You need to stand back and give people their space. So it's perfect for weddings. It has a quiet ultrasonic motor that's not very loud. Now this lens is not image stabilized, so I wouldn't recommend it for videography unless you have it on a solid tripod or monopod. Focusing distance may be an issue with this lens if you have an APC or a crop sensor camera because the minimum focus distance is 85 centimeters. So you're going to have to get an uncomfortable distance away from your subject when it comes to taking your portraits if you have a crop sensor camera. Now full frame cameras, it's going to be equivalent to what a 50 millimeter lens would be on a crop sensor camera. So it's a comfortable focal length for a full frame camera, but for a crop sensor camera, it makes it hard to get shots if you're in a closed space. It's still good in low light, but it's just not as good when it comes to getting shots or being a lens you want to take with you all day if that's your only choice if you have a crop sensor camera. I wouldn't recommend it for a first lens for an APC crop sensor user because it's a very tight squeeze. It's, it's going to be something that you're not going to be able to use in a closed space. Now let's talk about the build quality of this lens. This lens is built like a tank. Um, it has a metal mount on the back of the lens. The focus ring is very smooth when you tw when you twist it. So when it comes to video, if you do put it on a tripod, you can get some beautiful bokeh or bokeh, however you want to say it, of uh, the out of focus areas of your pictures and video. And twisting that focus ring just makes it way more smooth than twisting any other lens. It's, it's real smooth and it's a joy to use. Now let's talk about the bokeh and image quality. The strong part of this lens is the bokeh. Now you can use this lens in a low light situation with the lens wide open at f1.8 and get some very sharp images with the right shutter speed. The bokeh is just very pleasing from this lens. It's nothing that can really compare to it in my opinion in that price range. It's just something about how smooth the bokeh is from this lens. It's a step up from whatever you're using. If your 50 millimeter 1.8 is what you're using now, it's no question that the quality of this lens is gonna be a step up for you. Your in focus areas are very sharp and very crisp with this lens and it's superior. Now there are reports of chromatic aberrations with this lens and what that means is sometimes you take a high contrast image that's very bright in some areas and it may fall off into shadows in other areas. And when it does that, it may create some purple fringing that you'll see on your image. Now this can be corrected either by using an ND filter on your lens, or you can correct it in Photoshop or Lightroom in post-processing, which is most professional photographers use. So me personally, I don't take anything away from this lens because of the chromatic aberrations. That's just something you learn how to deal with. 
to be honest with you, most of the lenses I have, and I have some great glass, have chromatic aberrations now. Some of your later model lenses that were designed in 2016 correct that issue, but it's just something you come to learn how to deal with in post-processing. So me personally, I don't take anything away from this lens because of chromatic aberrations. It's just something you learn how to deal with. It's still sharp. Now let's talk about the price of this lens. This lens is currently $369 on Amazon. I haven't checked elsewhere, but I believe that's a good price from Amazon, $369. Now, to me, it's worth it. Now let's talk about the quality that you're getting. Let's talk about how crisp these images are. I mean, if you purchase this lens and what you have right now is just a 50 millimeter 1.8, it will be noticeably sharp to you. Your clients, when you do your weddings, when you do your porches, everybody will notice how much sharper your images are and how much smoother the out of focus areas are. Granted that they know what they're looking at when they check out your images. So to me, it's worth the $369 because of the build quality. This lens can be dropped a couple of times. This lens is, is built solid. This lens is just pleasing to use. It's just a joy to have in your camera bag. That's why I'm recommending it so much. Now I'm gonna show you guys some test footage from a video I did from our sister YouTube channel that's just getting started. So I want you to go ahead and show your support and click the subscribe button. I'll pop it up on the screen now so you can subscribe to that channel and show your support. But I want you to just check out the depth of field on this footage and just look at the beautiful image and beautiful colors and contrast that this lens creates. I just wanted to give you an idea of how this lens shoots as far as video work, which it can really be compared with photography as far as the video goes to. They look about similar, um, except the photos are going to be just a little more crisp, of course, because it's not video, they're still shots. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how this lens shoots. Once again, I want to thank you for watching and remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if I did a good job on this video, giving you a good idea of what you're getting, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button. Because I know how that is to be worrying how a product performs before you go spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a product. So that's my goal is to bring you good quality footage, good quality tutorials, good quality reviews and unboxing on these products. So you'll know before you go buy it what you're getting. You already know how it's gonna perform. You already know how it's gonna feel because I've done my job of explaining to you how that product performs. And in order to do that, I need your support so I can be able to afford to get these products and test them out for you and give you good quality footage. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button for me. And if you don't mind, go ahead and share the video too. All right, I'm signing out. Christopher Mosley, Realtors Against Incorporated. Mm -hmm.